Hey everybody, it's your brother Van Silk, not in my house. Oh boy. Topic of discussion is Kanye West. I don't know how some of y'all feel, but uh, I'm actually watching a man self-destruct in real time. And I want to know, where are his real friends? The people that care about you. The people could tell you to sit down and shut up. I sit up here and watch you create these issues. If the Gap didn't do what they supposed to do, take your lawyer, send them papers. Why everything gotta be on social media? Then you make comments, anti-Semitic comments, allegedly. <laughs> and then you say, I can say whatever I wanna say about Adidas. They're not gonna do nothing. The problem is, the black community is not holding you accountable. Accountable. They're not, they're not holding you accountable for nothing. They ain't hold you accountable for the statement that George Floyd. They ain't hold you about slavery was a choice. They just not holding you accountable. You want to be a dictator. Seem like everybody around you is weak. They weak. They, if you tell them to jump off a bridge, it's, you, they do. It's like a cult. There's not too many black people in this industry that could have had some of the deals that you had with the expectation and valuation of you becoming a legitimate billionaire in a couple of years, cash-wise, not paper-wise, not expectation-wise, not valuation-wise. But you want to drag everybody down with you because of your pothole. You want to bring Diddy into things, Jake Z and Beyonce. You want to talk about they can't talk and this and that. Candace Owens stepped away from you. You're not buying her husband website parlor. Ari Emmanuel from Booking Agency. They're not messing with you. One of the most powerful person in Hollywood. You want to bring out his brother Ron Emanuel, the former mayor of Chicago. You just want to bring everybody down with you because you're not happy. Now, you talked about Valencia, but then you was just went over, you just went to the office the other day. You said Adidas, oh, the, 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 the new sneakers they dropped me without my name is cool. Meanwhile, you got your fanatic and fans burning sneakers. I ain't gonna burn, burn nothing, nobody. This is your mess. We don't need to support you for so much, but brother, You never had 11 billion. I don't know why people are reciting that number. You had 1.5 billion in expectation evaluation and seeing like a lot of the black people, uneducated, uninformational, don't understand financial. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about your actions and your responsibility as a man people that was working for you that no longer have their jobs. The school closure, the basketball team being kicked out the league. Your good, your good, your whatever your name, your record label deal with Def Jam and the, 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 the dropping of JP Morgan wanting you to take the money out the bank. You losing the gap, you losing you you lost Adidas. I don't care if you make your own product. Foot Lock is not going to carry your product. Ask the Ball family on how hard it is to make your own sneaker. And you want to bring everybody in. Now you want to talk about Chris Paul and your wife, Kim K. A lot of idiots don't understand 
What, didn't that situation with them happen like in 2011, right when Chris Paul was getting married and right when you met Kim back in 2011? You got people at thinking like that happened last night or yesterday. Dude, Elon Musk just banned you, your account on Twitter. That tells you a lot. You want to go and post that picture with him and Ariel Emanuel. And, you know, you want to break so much. You want people to not to understand that you have a serious problem. And you talking about Apple Pay froze your money. <laughs> no, my brother. Adidas had Apple Pay freeze. My no, that's the Uncle Sam tax man. You just said that you owe $50 million in taxes. I want you to hear this man talk. And this is your brother Van Silk. Not in my house. I'll be right back. This morning, I found out that they were trying to put me in prison because what they did was... Uh, I, put, I moved $140 million into uh, J.P. Morgan. And I said, hey, I want to talk to Jamie Dimon. And I'm just like <laughs> banging my hands like, I want to meet with Jamie. And I start complaining online. And then they debank me for complaining. And so I'm, I'm about to get debanked. They're like, you need to go to Trump's the bank, AXO, whatever, you got to go. And I'm like, I've been trying to buy my own bank for the longest. And then we figured out how to get my own bank. It's like 50 million, 75 million. So I'm about to buy my own bank. But then as you're about to take the money out, here comes Adidas with a $275 million bill for marketing funds that they agreed upon. You know, I'm not going to mention her name because she's a nice lady, but someone at Cohen Res Resnick tells me, and I tell my... All of my finance people never use the term a lot, but they said, OK, you're going to have to pay a lot of taxes. And that made me feel like they're just like waiting, like we finally got them. So they froze. They put a seventy five million dollar hold on four of my accounts. And then they said, you owe a lot of taxes. Took me like six hours to find out how much a lot was. They said, <laughs> well, around fifty million dollars. And this is what I'm, I'm talking about. My dear brother, Kanye, my dear brother, seriously, brother, I don't want to see anything happen to you. You know, this is like real signs of, of like everything that's going on in your life about how you talked about you sacrificed, your mother was sacrificed, you know, rest in peace, Donda. But listen, just like the other day you was on Tim Poole's show and you walked off because you wanted him to say certain words. And uh, I don't get it, brother. You know, you talk about you want to run for president of the United States. You know, we all had that dream. But you switch up too much. And, and I can't understand what, 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 what goes on in your mind. And I still want to know where your real friends at, you know, you know, you hanging around with Nick Fuentes, Sneeko and all these people. And at the end of the day, I really need you to reach out to those who you really trust. OK, and, and, and get and get a stable unit around you, because, brother. This is a brother talking to another brother. I mean, I want your people to check out, you know, the situation with Tim Pool on his show. And uh, I'll be right back. I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I Who think. is they, though? We can't say they is, can we? Press. I'm not using the, I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking about. It is about them, it. though, isn't it? I mean, because, <laughs> no. and, and because when you think <laughs> about it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. I'll say it right now. Um, you, guys, I, I, you guys want to bring that stuff up? And then have think the we're discussion. not going to have a conversation? Like, like have the discussion. Like you, you think, yeah, he's going to come in here and say, 
here's my pain, here's my suffering. I'm gonna say, I hear you. And then he's gonna say, and it was Jewish people. And I'm gonna be like, okay, but don't you consider it's like, I'm not gonna do this. I, I, I refuse. Go, uh, make sure he's cool. All right, go for it. Excuse Luke and I will have a conversation. And this is where we at with Kanye. And to top it off, last but not least, y'all excuse me, Van Silk not in my house. I pray for you, brother. I really do. I really pray for you. But now you're going to Alex Jones and talking about you love the Jews and you love Nazis. You even left Alex Jones stunned. Now, everybody have their own opinion, but you are taking this way too far, brother. Way too far. Like, where are you going with this? It's even to the point where Donald Trump don't want nothing to do with you. Like, the GOP had a post with you, Elon, and Trump, and they took the, the post down. Because, like, brother, where are you going with all of this? Now, we know what happened with the Germans and the Jews. But it went from the gap in Adidas to this. I don't get it. And I'm going to leave y'all on that note. Right here with Alex Jones. This is your brother, Van Silk. Kanye, my brother. Slow down. Please, slow down. I'm out. That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. The Jew I love everyone, and Jewish people are not going to tell me you can love, um, you know, us, and you can love what we're doing to you with the contracts, and you can love what we're you know what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician. You can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good, and I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler.